morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. Let me fix this one here. Yeah. Sorry about that. I uh, just wanted to touch base and um, I guess maybe show you guys one of the hobbies that I have. It's um, it's a little weird, a little out there. <clears throat> um, one of my hobbies is I uh, I built rockets. The, right behind me, this one here. Opens up. It's all fiberglass. It's pretty cool. There's a nose cone that comes out. So, um, so I built I built these rockets out of their um, the tubes of paper. That one's fiberglass because that one goes um, fast. That one reaches speeds roughly 2,000, 2,500 miles an hour. Um, that's real speed. Mach 2, Mach 3, I'm leaving. It's going up there. So one of the problems you have with these rockets is they go so fast and so high up that you lose track of something so small. So the ability to track that rocket at the whole launch, we'll say, is a thing, a hobby type of a why, how, curious type of a thing. So um, a few years back, I started getting into the hobby and you become certified at certain levels. There's three levels, one, two, three. I'm second level um, part of that is you need to do what they call dual deployment. So the rocket goes up. When it reaches the very, very top and turns over to start coming back down, that's when you um, eject it. You control that, and it separates the rocket. Out comes a parachute, a little one. Makes it come straight back down. And then at, say, 1,000 feet, maybe 750 feet, you pop the main chute. So then you, you you set off another charge of black powder we use, and it blows the nose cone out, and out comes the actual big parachute, the big one. And that slows a rocket down. Because if that big parachute opened up when you're a mile up, <laughs> you're going to good luck finding it. So back to the whole, how, how do you keep track of something so small so high up if you took that rocket and walked a half mile away you would wouldn't see it so um i build these things little things and um part of building these things is adding to these things so i'm going to show you okay real quick um tilt this down this is what you need to build to make this stay. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so these are the units that I build. Um, they, they, um, they, go in, they go into the rocket, little components. Each one does a different thing. Now, this one I made, right? There's your antenna. There's your circuitry. And then I made a whip. And I connected this little gem. Focus and everything. So this is, and, and the trick, the trick obviously is to make it as light as possible because when you're, um, when you're sending something up 
so high, so fast, so far. Every little bit of weight matters. I mean, every bit of weight. Um, this is one I made. This is one of the early ones. This is the GPS chip right here. That's the chip itself that lets me know where exactly where it is in time, space, three-dimensional wise. This is another one. This will like when when this this is an altimeter built into it. When this reaches, we'll say um, two thousand feet. This these two whips right here. This will set off the charge to open the main parachute, and this controls it all. This, and this is programmed. You have to program this. Um, this is a nice little slick one here. This um, there's my port. Charge it. Takes a card, slips a card right in that reader over there. And this is, this is, yeah, this took a little work, but I mean, look how small it is, right? And it doesn't weigh anything. It weighs next to nothing. And I can add a camera to this one too, and GPS. So if I want to add <clears throat> GPS to this, I take my GPS chip. This is how they come. So just so you know, comes a little package. And this is the bottom of it. You can see that. There's your chip. And those are the pads that you have to solder. Those pads. This is this is um just a blank like a blank board. This is how we get them. So you would actually solder this chip onto those pads. Oh, so and then to make to make all the electricity flow the way it's supposed to. You have to, you have to take these little diodes. I'm not sure if you can be able to see this one. Yeah. That. Looks up behind it to see it. Still can't really. That tiny little diode. You have to solder onto the board. And these are all the, these are all just, we'll call them, um, these are just pots, pieces of pots that you um, you can use to to build whatever you want. And see, this is this is another board I had ordered. This this was, this is a project. <clears throat> I'm at a stop still for temporarily because I can't find the right pieces of software to work with what I wanted to do. So it's like a, like a puzzle type of thing, but that's my next project right there. That little, that little deal there. And do I have one? Do I have one? Do I have one? I thought I did. Where are you? Where are you? There's another one. Um, I had one made. It was tiny. That's why I can't find it. <laughs> There's my GPS right here. I mean, in this, this doesn't weigh anything. This is. So the lighter, the better, and the less power it takes. This is this is this was a pretty good pretty good deal. This is a nice one. And there you go. I can add a camera, and I can then um, burst the data to the antenna, and lift the data to the GPS at the same time. So it's pretty cool. You can um, almost watch the rocket in real time when it goes up in the air and turns, and and it's <clears throat> it's good because, um, like this stuff here, that th this all costs money. You know, you 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 have altimeters, you have speed sensors, all sorts of equipment, camera systems. Um, you have all sorts of stuff, and you don't want to lose it.
why you know so you got to build these things to come back you know if you lost a rocket every time you launched it it would be bad so this is my guy i don't know if you, you know this guy but he's my buddy so just to let you know everybody should have a hobby if you get into the hobby get into it do do your own thing um th this is one of mine as you can tell i like building rockets and uh I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example of the things that that I like to do. Let me find it. Do do go here. Ha. All right. Right there, baby. Boom. All right. All right, back to this. Uh, share screen, where are you? One second. That. StreamYard. All right, let's share some screens. Share screen. We're going to do this one. Okay. This is the rocket right in the center of it it's gonna take off fast it's just gonna go gone so Now, here's that's one of them. Yeah. Um, do I have the videos here? Mm, no, I don't have them here. Okay, um, I have, I got a bunch of videos from when I was certified, and I don't see it, any of them. Okay, uh, so yeah, that is, that is, um, that's my hobby. I build rockets. I launch them, they go up, parachute opens up, they come back down, take the motor out. Put a new motor in, repack the parachute, reset your electronics, pull your data out. Um, I mean, we're talking raw data that we're getting, and we have to put it into um, a form that the software then can read. And we can look at our graphs, our acceleration. Um, if something goes wrong, we, we can change, fine-tune it, um, we'll say. Um, <laughs> This is pretty cool. I got to show you this. Um, one second. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. Where are we? <sighs> Mark, Mark 4.2. That's 4,000 miles an hour. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? One second, people. You, this is worth it. I will tell you that. This is well worth it. Um, one second. Where are you? All right. Th this is worth seeing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause StreamYard real quick. Find it. And it's going to blow your mind. So let's uh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. All right, guys and girls. I found the video. If you're still with me and you're still interested in, in model rocketry, I'm going to let you in on a little thing here. This stuff is next level amazing. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to do this one. 
do this one. This is awesome. Watch. See, it says Kate 2 controlled all the flight operations. Launch detected. 1,000 feet. 5,000 feet. Booster burnout. 10,000 feet. 15,000. 20,000. 22,000 feet. 24,000. 26,000. Sustainer ignition. If you look over to the right hand side the rocket separated the, the electronics separate the rocket and then the electronics start a secondary motor that's inside it's a two-stage rocket and there's a camera inside obviously that's the sustainer coming down on the right hand side. There we go. Check that out. Ain't that something? All right. And now I'm going to see if I can play this one for you guys. Let me stop this. All right. Close that. And I'm going to have to go back to StreamYard, I think, and share this one. Boom. Check this out. Evolution Space, which was a team of people all working together. Um, they launched Kate 3, it's a third version of Kate, um, into space. They named the rocket Gold Chain Cowboy. It reached Apogee, which is the Apogee is the very, very, very tippity tippity top before it starts coming back down of 408,000. 456 feet above the ground. That's 15 miles higher than what like the official space boundary is. Um, these guys are awesome. Now, when I say data, I'm going to show you some of the data. I mean, the, the, not the actual, but you'll see. Um, these are the guys putting it together. Right? The, this, there's your engines to eject. There's your nose cone they're putting on. There's your rear end, the fins. This is the launch pad that we have. We lay it flat, slide the rocket on, and then this brings it up. There's the picture. Find out what that's about. Um, yeah, these guys here did it. The, the, this is the this is the data that gets produced, and we can overlay it on top of Google Earth. Um, the red is where it started started going. That's the engine burn, and then the blue is where it coasted. All the way up to Apogee, to the top. And then it started to come back down. And the yellow is where it ejected the, the small parachute. And then the green is where it ejected the very large parachute, at the very bottom. So that's the data. And this is the electronics that control the rocket's um, flight, we'll call it. It's flight. Everything that goes... Everything that happens with that rocket from the time it, that it starts ignition to the time it lands on the ground, most of it can be controlled through electronics. And that's what I build and what I design and stuff like that. So just want to give you guys a little heads up about my hobby. And that's about that. And if anybody wants to learn about building rockets or model rocketry, um, I guess I'm your guy. I can help you out if you need it. Um, that's about it. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. And um, just want to let you know that I've made one a lot smaller than this. Good luck finding that. Hope you have a wonderful day.